The health of our oceans, seas, and marine resources is critical to life. It is the focus of Sustainable Development Goal 14 and its 10 targets. This evaluation assessed FAO's efforts to support and monitor progress in achieving the SDG 14 targets. The evaluation looked at FAO's relevance, its contribution to SDG 14 targets, and its use of partnerships. The evaluation team used a range of approaches to answer these questions. These included analysis of FAO projects, document review and evaluation synthesis, interviews and stakeholder workshops, studies of communications, capacity development, sectors and countries. FAO's strategic framework of 2022 to 2031 is well aligned with SDG 14 goals. FAO's work on SDG 14 responds to the needs and requests of its members. FAO work has enhanced fisheries management, fisheries data, and international agreements. For example, FAO's flagship publications, The State of World Fisheries and Aquaculture, shape thinking around aquatic food production and trends. It has driven the development of normative products and international standards, such as the Code of Conduct for Responsible Fisheries. FAO supported sustainable fisheries management and biodiversity by increasing the number of projects promoting the ecosystem-based approach. FAO has also played a key role in developing methodologies and capacity of stakeholders to monitor progress on the indicators for which it is custodian. Lastly, FAO has actively engaged in communication efforts related to SDG 14 in areas such as small-scale fisheries, increasing their visibility. FAO established crucial partnerships, notably with UN entities, research organizations, and other national and international organizations. These have advanced policy, data, and technical expertise. The evaluation highlighted several areas for improvement, which are the basis for six recommendations. The evaluation found misalignment between SDG 14 indicators and targets, which negatively affects tracking of progress. Recommendation one. Submit a request to the next comprehensive review of the Interagency and Expert Group on Sustainable Development Goal Indicators to review the utility and validity of indicators under FAO's custodianship. Despite FAO's considerable efforts, there is room for improving persistent data gaps and discrepancies that undermine data quality. Recommendation two improve the quality of SDG 14 data published. There is currently no long-term program for capacity building in fisheries data collection, though this is fundamental to improving country reporting of data for achieving SDG 14 and monitoring progress. Recommendation three, create a sustainable program to build national capacity for fisheries data collection and robust stock assessments. In its strategic and project-based work, FAO has placed insufficient focus on marine pollution associated with food production. Recommendation 4. Continue to lead a shift to better food production by developing an intersectoral approach that addresses trade-offs posed by aquaculture intensification and reduces risks of food production systems to oceans. The evaluation found gaps in implementing normative guidance for gender and indigenous peoples. There was no evidence of projects impacting indigenous peoples conducting free, prior and informed consent. Recommendation 5. 
Embed free prior and informed consent in FAO's project cycle, ensuring that it is designed, implemented, monitored and reported in all relevant projects. This is a priority that requires immediate action. Recommendation 6. Engage to empower key stakeholders to maximize their active participation in and contributions to SDG 14 related work. FAO management has accepted all of these recommendations and plans to act on them as described in their response.